So in the Zoom room, I got India Sean. Welcome, India. Thank you so much. Good to be here. Yes, it's a pleasure meeting you. I've been listening to your music all afternoon long, and we're playing your song Exchange on 107.3. It's been a really big hit. Very Thanks. soulful and seductive. That's my notes, notes right here. That I <laughs> called it soulful and seductive. Now, for the people who don't know who India Sean is, describe yourself to them. Who is India Sean? <laughs> I always love this question. <laughs> now, I am a singer, songwriter. Um, I am, I've been doing this for such a long time and I'm just really grateful to be putting this project out. You know, I, I don't know, beyond that, I'm, I'm, I'm very layered. There's a lot to me, but I'll, I'll let you start there. <laughs> Lots of layers. Okay, so you have written for Chris Brown, Diddy Dirty Money, Elle DeBarge, Carrie Hilson. Now, with all the songs that you've written for other people, and once they put the song out and they laid their vocals down, have you ever wished, man, I should have kept that song for myself? You know, there's a song that Justine Sky put out a year or so ago um, that was initially a session for me. And then we ended up giving it to Justine. And I'm like, mm. I, I was conflicted about the song. So they just gave it to her, but um, she did it justice. She did a great job on it, but that was the one song. And it's called Build. <laughs> I feel like when situations like that happen, I feel like that's your child and then you let it to go, go to college, but you saw that it did bigger and, better, <laughs> bigger and better things, but it just accomplished a lot. So I guess we can look exactly. at it like that. Yes, I do. <laughs> All right, so I also saw that you have um, performed with Kanye Sunday Service. Now that's a big situation. What's that like? And is it super hot out there? Because I know that Kanye makes you wear certain clothes. Describe the vibe at Sunday Service. I, I could only I could only get through three services. I I, I handed in my robe after the third. <laughs> did you at least get some Yeezys out of it? I didn't. I didn't. He was doing these like crazy scuba shoes that had no sole on the bottom. I remember there was one uh, service in particular. He was like, "Let's spray paint the shoes." Uh, while we were like walking to the to the little canyon that we would perform at. And they're literally spray painting these scuba shoes. We're walking on a rocky dirt road up to go perform. It was it was crazy, but you know, got to see Kanye's genius just uh -huh. in the moment, up close and personal. Very okay. So you said three, and then you were done. It's in the desert, right? <laughs> um, it was out in Calabasas. Yeah, it's not not quite the desert, but it looks like the desert to me, like out in the middle of nowhere, but. We, we did do Coachella, which was in the desert. Yeah, that was, was that the year that cute. was that the year that you guys were on that big grass mound? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you've been through some things, but you know what? <laughs> Perform with Kanye, so that's super cool. And then Anderson Pack and. Um, it's Anderson Pack and the Free Nationals. So let's talk about that experience. What that was like performing with them. So insane. Um, you know, I took a lot of notes because he is to me like just the consummate performer. He makes it look so fun. He really does put a thousand percent into every show. He's funny. He's playing the drums. He's dancing. He's telling jokes. You know. So um, I took a lot of notes there and really used it as a moment to manifest, like in front of those huge crowds out there in Europe, I was just, I would take a second and inhale it all and be like, this can be my moment too, you know, <laughs> put it in my pocket. Um, but yeah, and then the following year, I co-headlined a tour with the Free Nats. So it was just a progressive journey with them. So you work with quite a few people, toured with quite a few people. What's one person that gave you the best bit of advice that you keep and carry along probably till you're till you're old and gray? Wow. Um, hmm. Look, my therapist is the only person that gives me advice that I keep. <laughs> okay. okay, fair enough. I, I, I can't say um, that I remember any advice that these artists have given me, but I think just the work ethic that I've seen up close and personal, I've taken in with me. You know, like these people are where they are because they are truly committed to it. I mean, I remember being in the studio with Chris Brown and just seeing him overflow with ideas and get on the microphone and just freestyle and just be so fearless in his creativity. Those are the moments that I keep with me. Okay, well, there we go. Now, Mario <laughs> says, nothing is off limits. So 
I'm going to put you through a fire round and I'm going to ask you some questions and you'll have to respond with, is it off limits or nothing is off limits? Mm. <laughs> Here's the first one. Your man wants to spice it up and wants to bring your best friend in. Is it off limits or nothing is <laughs> off limits? Off limits. <laughs> off limits. What's yours is yours. Okay. The label wants to collab with your worst enemy because it will be a good look. Is that off limits or nothing off limits? Can you play nice? It depends on the song. I'll play nice if the song is worth it. Okay. <laughs> um, plastic surgery, is it off limits or nothing's off limits? Mm, off limits. Off limits. Um, going on a date with a fan who slid in your DMs. If he's cute, no. <laughs> Well, what if you have know, limits? Dating <laughs> <laughs> uh, a coworker is that off limits or nothing's off limits? Uh, nothing's off limits. Nothing when it comes to love. <laughs> okay, make some business with pleasure. Um, last one: an unannounced FaceTime call. Me and my coworkers got into this. I'm okay with it, but is it off limits or nothing's off limits? Nothing's off limits. You just have to stare at the ceiling. That's what I do with people who want to call me on an <laughs> There we go. Okay. All right. I'll put you through the fire round. Okay. And so your brand new single exchange, that's out. We're playing it. Now, um, are you putting out an EP? Because I saw I was on the YouTube and looking up all the different songs that you had. Did you previously have like have a mixtape or was it an EP? And now we're working on the full album. Is that how everything's going? Yeah, I, I put out a seven song EP. Um, at the end of last year. And today I'm celebrating the full length project, which is 14 songs. It's the full story, intro to outro. And I'm happy that people can hear it the way I wrote it and intended for it to be heard. Very nice. And I feel like it's very vulnerable. Um, were you going through a hard breakup or like a difficult relationship at the time? That's what I'm put piecing together. I was, it was like on the heels of a horrible breakup. And I had just moved to LA. We were supposed to move here together. And then he broke up with me and I had to just come by myself and figure it out, which is why it starts with the first song, Cali Love. And I'm like looking for love all over LA. And then, you know, we get to the end of the album, which is the song is called Just You. And I'm saying like, nobody else matters. It's just you. The love that I've been searching for all this time was here all along, you know? So that is the story that the album is telling. Now, other than songwriting, what are the steps that got got you to the point where you're just like, okay, I'm good by myself? Because there's some people that have to be in relationships and that's what defines them. But it seems like you did some soul searching. So what was a part of that soul searching other than, you know, writing music and writing hit songs? Yeah, I think making a lot of terrible decisions and then having to learn the hard way. <laughs> Nothing is off limits, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I honestly, I did um, start therapy, funny enough, like maybe a year into making the album. And so I do hear, I do hear how the tone of the album changes over that course of time. Um, also just, you know, having a practice of mindfulness and, and taking time to meditate every day, doing breath work and aligning with people and companies that are, you know, also focused on those things. And I, I want to ask, because I see a lot of greenery in the background, and I forgot what single it was, but you were in a tree house, and you had like a love interest, and you pulled up to the house. I don't remember what the song was, but there was a lot of greenery in there. Are, do you have a green thumb, or you have a thing for plants? <laughs> I'm keeping them, keeping them alive. I have some more hanging here. Wow. Um, but yeah, they're my, they're my children until I can have some children or a pet or somebody to be responsible for, but I, I think I do all right with them. Okay, so they're your audience for now when you're in the house <laughs> and practicing to go up on stage in front of all of us. Yes, exactly, exactly. And that was, that song actually was To Change My Mind, that video that you mentioned. I love that single. That was one of my favorites. And I, I Exchange is another one of my favorites, but To Change My Mind was my favorite. Thank you. That's all. I know you have a lot more hits to come out. I so. love that because that's one of the most alternative songs, I feel like, like kind of getting outside of the R&B box. So when people say they like those ones, that really, I like that. It makes me know that you know, you know music. <laughs> yes. And then I, but for video wise, I like the one with Anderson Pack because when his face was changing with all those people, I was like, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Who's yeah. like, Who's that? I, he directed it, right? 
That came from his very crazy mind. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's like, we're going to get a horse. You're going to jump off of a waterfall. I'm like, I'm not jumping off of a waterfall. I'll do the horse. I've never been on a horse, but yes, uh, I'll do this for you. <laughs> and I saw in the video, you are body goals. You keep it right and keep it tight. What do you do? Is it just yoga and Hot yoga and hiking are my two workouts of choice. Okay. Very California. <laughs> it's so LA. It's so LA, but that's all right. You look good, girl. Thank you. Well, India, it was a pleasure speaking to you. Anything else that you want your fans to know? I know we have the album coming out. Um, we are playing your single exchange. Anything else that you want your fans to know? Are you possibly going on tour anytime soon? Yeah, I was just going to say that I'm routing a tour right now. So hopefully I will be in a city near you and you and you and you. Um, yeah, I'm most looking forward to that, taking this music on the road and headlining my own show and seeing who comes out for me. I'm, I'm excited about that. Well, we'll slide on through Kansas City. If you come to Kansas City, we'll feed you lots of barbecue. If you eat barbecue and meat, I don't know. You're I might food. have to like break my dietary restrictions for that. Yeah, because y'all have the best barbecue. Yes, we do. I'm glad you know. <laughs> well, India Sean came into the Zoom room. We appreciate you. Drop your social media so people can follow you. I am at India Sean on all things. I-N-D-I-A-S-H-A-W-N. Thank you, India. It was a pleasure. Thank you so, so much. Take care.